uh, insight tonight. And Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to yield next. The gentleman from Georgia, another gentleman with a lot of expertise, and he'll address some of the crime crises that we're facing. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I thank him for hosting us tonight. Mr. Speaker, for years, Democrats have been pushing to defund the police rhetoric that has demonized our law enforcement officers and left them unequipped and abandoned by their government. Now we're paying the price. In the year 2021, 73 of our bravest police officers lost their lives in defense of this country and their communities. This is a 59% increase from 2020 and the most that we've had since 1995. This is utterly unacceptable. The language from top Democrats empowers those that wish to do harm upon others and leaves our law enforcement stranded with nowhere to look for aid. After an entire year of this detrimental rhetoric, at least 16 U.S. cities have set new homicide records in 2021. 343, 346 officers were shot, and we saw a 115% increase in ambush-style attacks on law enforcement from 2020. Democrats aren't just downplaying the impacts of their soft-on-crime rhetoric. They are completely ignoring it. Shoplifting in California and New York has gotten so bad that it is now mocked on social media and offenders simply walk into a store, grab what they want, and walk out. The 1st Congressional District of Georgia is unfortunately no exception to this current trend. In the first half of 2021, violent crime increased 7 percent, property crimes rose 10 percent, and shoplifting has risen 9 percent, all in Savannah alone. Folks, this rhetoric is harmful. It hurts our communities, it hurts our law enforcement, and it hurts our constituents. We must put a stop to this and reinforce the fact that we have the backs of our police officers. This issue is of the utmost importance, and I call upon President Biden to say unequivocally that he supports our men and women in blue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.